dear Bitcoin enthusiasts, welcome to Bitcoin Guru. This is your ultimate Bitcoin go-to and what we have here today is a compilation of all of the more than 70 questions at the Bitcoin's first AMA event. So what I've done for you guys is I've consolidated everything, I've edited a little bit of the grammar and spelling mistakes and I've consolidated the questions and the answers so that way it's easier to to see to read and to go over now if you do want the full version of the raw questions and answers you can either visit the reddit page which I'll have a link for or I can also send you a word file which will have all of the questions as well so let's get straight to it, my dear friends now, before we go any further, of course, as always, this is information that I have gathered myself. Like I said, I've even edited the information because there were some grammar and spelling mistakes, which means it's not one-to-one. -one. If you want to have the absolute one-to-one -one representation of all the questions and answers, you can visit it on the Reddit page. Here at Bitcoin, my friends, I will give you the most easiest to access information. So. Let's go over what we're going to be going over. We're going to get started with hard fork and GitHub because these are the two main topics of the whole AMA event. Later on, we're going to be talking about all of the rest of the technical questions. We're going to be discussing team, marketing, and the social activity, community and the community efforts, exchanges, partnerships security features smart contracts mining and fees wallets supply we're even gonna go over FUD and general and overall questions so a lot of things to be discussed and to be honest after all of this work after all of this consolidation and, and compilation of questions and answers and information and I just realized how involved the Bitcoin community actually is we have a lot of questions, we have a lot of interest, and I'm sure we have the same passion for Bitcoin, so I'm glad to share with that with you. Let's go over the first thing, hard fork and GitHub. These are all of the selected questions that are technical related. So hard fork features first. What features will come with the hard fork? Well, the Bitcoin hard fork has several goals. Firstly, that is the new API, which means Application Programming Interface, which is much more simple, easy to integrate, includes dynamic fees, and is more economical for them to maintain. After the hard fork is released on June 12th, the main goal is to move all of our new users to our new code base, because once the new hard fork is released, we will not will no longer maintain the old code and will move all of our focus and improvements to the new code which is much more maintainable and user friendly moreover we're introducing dynamic fees which is actually the changing of the consensus hard fork implies that the token will be divided in two and we will have a one-to-one -one. what will happen to the tokens that I already have in our case, hard fork means mandatory upgrade, which means that no new tokens will be created and nothing is going to happen with your coins. That's very important, my friends. Bitcoin is making such a huge upgrade for the better in the code, in the API, and just the general coin that it's considered a hard fork. That's how serious it is. So awesome things happening in June. Any changes for Android Wallet after the hard fork? In principle, everything will be the same, but we are still working on all of the details. Please stay tuned as we continue to work on this. So, awesome things to look forward to. Hard fork coin storage. So this is for all of the questions that are related to where should I store my coins during the hard fork? Hello dear Bitcoin team, I would love to keep my BCN in a safe place during the hard fork. 
what would I need to do if I have to get them out of Poloniex if the wallet is still disabled? Would the BCN be negatively affected? And this, I remember this question and I also remember the answer. I've consolidated different answers to answer it in a general way, I guess. The most reliable place to keep your coins during the hard fork is our official desktop wallet. Just make sure you have a copy of your wallet file. Your money will not disappear. Now this part I've copied and I want to put emphasis on it. Make sure you have a backup of your coins. I cannot emphasize this enough. It's not truly yours unless you have it. Am I correct? We're not talking about hypothetical, it's there. I want You want to have this on your person almost. So when it comes to backing up your Bitcoin, make sure that you don't have it on any exchanges because that is like having money in the bank. You're putting, you're having the smaller key to the smaller box that's in the bigger box with the bigger key. Okay, so you don't want to do that. In case you're keeping the coins at an external source, it will it will not be a big deal for them. This is speaking for Cryptonator, Free Wallet, Hit BTC, and Poloniex. It will not be a big deal for them to update their software to the newest version. So they will update. Theoretically, it should not be any difficulty for all of these partners to update their Bitcoin software. So nothing to worry about. Number two, can I have my coins on Cryptonator, Free Wallet, HitBTC, Poloniex during the hard fork and then move them to the new wallet afterwards? So this was asked in a different way. It included different information, so I wanted to make sure I list it. We expect that everything should operate smoothly and normally, and it will not be a big deal for the exchanges to make the update. Number, wow, so I've still kept the old numbers that put them together well number 33 um, can I leave my coins in the web wallet after the fork sure you can it's absolutely safe that is a valid question number 34 I have BCN in Poloniex exchange and it does not let me withdraw how do you transfer to the wallet is it required for the token to be in the wallet for the hard fork there is nothing new to report. We have tried to connect Poloniex many times, but their support has not replied to us. We will keep you updated as the situation develops, but the situation is difficult to solve if they will not reply to our messages. If you or anybody you know has the direct communication with Poloniex team or their support, we would appreciate their contact details so we may solve this situation. But as soon as Poloniex will solve the problem on their end, everything will be great. Now, this concludes the hard fork coin storage related questions. This is my takeaway from it. My friends, the best place to store is the Bitcoin desktop wallet. The next best measure to take before the hard fork on June 12th is to have it backed up. And that is it. Now, should you have it on any external source such as Cryptonator or Free Wallet, HitBTC, Poloniex, everything will be okay. They will be able to switch over to the new software, but still, it is recommended that you move it over to the desktop wallet if you're not trading that amount, that is. Let's take a look. GitHub. Do you still have the code for the first Java implementation of Bitcoin? Unfortunately, we do not have this code. Number two, will you be accepting pull requests in the new repo or will it be a waste of our time to try to submit pull requests to the new repo? Sure, we'll be accepting pull requests in the new repo. Moreover, we've already started to do that. If you're planning to make some pull requests, we would recommend you send them to uh, we recommend you send them after the 20th of March, after the API release. Number three, 
do you plan to create some Bytecoin community to help developers with Bytecoin implementations? Or Bytecoin Wiki will be enough. We hope that the new wiki will be quite easy to integrate with. If not, our developers are ready to reply to all of your issues at our new GitHub. Number four, what about another methods from old service? For example, get block header by height and etc. The default public pools use this methods. This needs a research. Please submit an issue to our GitHub with the details. We will be glad to discuss it there. So hopefully that answered some of you guys' technical questions. For testnets, there weren't many, there was only one. What exactly is the public testnet about and who is it marketed to? The public testnet will be used for development and developers only for testing purposes. And that was the only question. For other, do you plan an algorithm change like Monero? We've discussed this with the whole team and decided that we won't change the algorithm in the nearest future. So, no algorithm changes of yet, just getting better, faster, stronger. Next, we have the Bitcoin team. Is it a new team or the original creators? Sometimes we could cooperate with the people who were on our team previously or who in one way or another helped us during over the course of our existence. Number two, how big is the team? Now our core team consists of four full-time C++ developers plus several developers working in various fields. A cryptography expert and a community manager, Ms. Jenny, Moreover, we have very close relations with several graphic designers, front-end developers, mobile developers, and system administrators. Number three, are you planning to make one of the people from the team the face of Bitcoin so exchanges that are not keen on adding coins with unknown teams could start considering BCN? Our faces are the thousands of lines in our code. So that is a pretty good way to uh, look at it. I mean, your product is a representation of you. So, great answer. There are three interviews with a Bitcoin developer from 2014-2015. Is he still on the team? He promised quite a few things that overlap with what's currently on the roadmap, but were never delivered. It was about the deliveries for 2015. Yes, the representative who made these interviews is still on the team. Which features are you actually talking about? Um, I don't believe the Reddit user answered. Now for... Now, this pretty much... This is a pretty good team that they have. Notice that it's not the biggest of teams, but... They're working on tackling one of the most groundbreaking breakthroughs in cryptography and the cryptocurrencies, and that is full anonymity, untraceability, unlinkability. So they're putting in a lot of work. Let's just say that. And they're really dedicated to building the code and building the right product. And I'm very excited. I'm very very excited let's take a look at what they have for marketing number one do you take part or planning to speak on the public blockchain events and conferences over the world to which they answered we are the regular guests of such conferences actually this is something that intrigued me quite a lot I would love to see the Bitcoin team actually be more transparent. Like, I know exactly who the builders of Tron are, you know? Who, who their marketing team is, who their developers are. This is something that I would like to see in Bitcoin. Uh, to know which events they're going to, to get to meet some of them, you know? That would be fantastic. 
Do you have a transcript from the meeting with Bitcoin developers in Turkey that took place in 2015? To which they answered, as the event organizers for the transcripts and videos. Maybe the Bitcoin team did not have access to those files. Because the very next question, do you have videos from the Saberhagen stock from Germany's peer-to-peer uh, -peer conference in 2015? It's pretty much the same answer as the event organizers for the transcripts and videos. Number four, the first quarter is nearly gone. Could you please say something about Asian slash Middle East markets? What are the plans? Due to some problems listing ERC20 tokens for exchanges, adopting Bitcoin has been an on ongoing process. But we have made a lot of progress developing Bitcoin's community in the Asian market. Here are a list of some of the landing pages that show our work in this area. They have one in Korea, kr.bicoin.org, China, cn.bicoin.org, Japan, jp.bicoin.org. So these are huge, huge countries, pivotal. All required links for the local communities can be found on each respective page. We are also working on some other projects, but we can't talk about them at the moment due to disclosure agreements. Please stay tuned for more updates. When somebody says disclosure agreement, this is when I go crazy. I'm super excited about this disclosure agreement. You know what that means? That means that they're, they've signed an agreement to keep it hush hush for a while which is great news there's a lot of anticipation which means it's gonna be a big event number five also one more question are you planning on building even a marketing team conferences and events I understand the purpose of being private but to com compete with other crypto coins in the market and being updated with the way that cryptocurrencies grow today so gaining popularity through marketing, do you believe the marketing team which would do a clean work might help? We have a very extensive marketing team. We're still looking f we're still looking on whether or not we would like to send our team out to conduct marketing events in person because we are a privacy based coin that heavily values the privacy of our members. As of now, we rely on our community to be the face of Bitcoin, but this may change in the future. That is even better news because the more trust there is in, in a coin, the more money flows. Number six, why doesn't Bitcoin be different and advertised to the mainstream media outlets to allow people to know it exists? Answered, the truth is that it is not our format of advertising, but we are focused on other types such as PR campaigns, reaching out to journalists, and some other cool marketing events. For sure, 2018 will be the year of Bitcoin. Another beautiful answer. Um, this thing gets me hyped up. Are you hearing all of this? They're saying this is not their format of advertising. The main programming box that, in my opinion, brainwashes people is the most powerful tool of the modern centuries of modern technology because it sways people's opinions. It's so powerful, Bitcoin is saying no. We do not want to go and approach advertising in that way. We don't want to be, well, should you call it Bitcoin or Monero or Dash or whatever. We want to, we want to get our word out through journalists, other innovative marketing ideas and events, and PR campaigns. Amazing. I don't know. I'm excited. I think they have quite a lot of awesome things coming up. For partnerships, will Bitcoin be working with other coins or companies in the future? Well, we'll be glad to be partners with 
some coins in other crypto companies. This year, Bycoin has already been added as a source of purchasing ICO tokens. I don't know if you guys have heard, but Lydian, which is the um, first marketing cloud for blockchain, actually allows people to purchase its ICOs, ICO tokens, with Bitcoin. The more use cases, the better, my friends. Number two, is it safe to use Bitcoins.world? I don't know if you guys have visited that website, but it's pretty cool. Bitcoins.world is a community-made project which has proved that it's legitimate and respectful among the community. Amazing things. Uh, I'll be doing a video on Bitcoins.world very soon. How soon are you planning to add Bitcoins.world to Bitcoin.org? Uh, community section. We'll add it to the community section of our website this month, definitely. Number four, what's happening with Bitcoin Foundation? Bitcoin Foundation still operates as a community-driven project in the same perspective way. I actually read the story behind um, Emil's story, and it's it's pretty cool. The, the gentleman has done a lot for the Bitcoin community, and I appreciate him greatly. Thank you so much for the Bitcoin Foundation, my friend.